we are in Macon. Macon, Georgia. We got the bacon. We gotta get to Alabama. It's our early start. We're gonna be driving into the rain. We'll let you know what's going on. Let's get started. Thanks for watching. to get we gotta get over to Bessemer Alabama and uh, about 200 and, I don't know probably like we'll just say 250 from where we're at we got about 90 miles to Atlanta it's about four o'clock so I know we're gonna be able to cruise right through there we'll be good we're gonna be running into some rain here shortly probably once we get through Atlanta I already looked on the weather. Yeah, <laughs> there's some good rain coming. Hopefully, we'll get slowed down there. But, uh, we're right off 75. Dude was cruising. <laughs> Sunday morning. I'm gonna go finish walking her. We gotta get rolling. Alabama. Trying to look for an empty trailer. 
this trailer's over here. Boom, here we go. Kaboom, that's us. Yeah, all right, good deal. Empty trailer. We're looking like, looking all right. Looking all right, all right. All right, we're good. All right, let's swap this trailer. Let's get out of here. change change of plans found a white trailer down here the wider trailer the wider trailers nice the white trailers are the newer trailers and once I kind of looked over that one a little bit more it's kind of banged up a little bit so I think this one will be just fine good to go just see what it looks like in the back here Oh yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, let me get everything all connected. Go back up and grab our bills, and we'll get out of here. Well, all right. I tried to, I've been sitting here for a while, waiting for something. You wait, wait so long, you know, like, I should just save my hours for tomorrow. It's like I don't really want to go down. I'm afraid they're gonna send me down to the old uh the old paper mill. Everyone loves going to the paper mill. So I sent a message that I'll just be ready to roll tomorrow morning, like 5 a.m. Just save the rest of my time for 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 the rest of the week. Cause I had like one day I only had like like less than three hours then another day was like seven hours so I can just save the rest of my time for those days then they sent me a load that uh, I was assigned a load <laughs> picking up in Demopolis that's right <laughs> the paper mill so gosh so I'm just waiting to see if I can pick this thing up tomorrow morning or if it's something that has to be picked up right now but uh, let me find out, we'll see what's going on, we'll let you guys know. All right, remember what I was saying? But I like to, I like to grab the white trailers because there's no problems. <laughs> nice, look at this crap, man. Now I gotta. Ah, damn it. So you know when you go to these paper mills, they check everything. So when I was in here, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> All right. So uh, you know when they go to these paper mills, they uh, they go and check everything. They shut the doors on you. I want to see if there's any sunlight. So here's what we got. Yeah. Tiny little hole. Yeah, little thing. So, something like that, they'll send you down the road. So we had to go get some, uh, some Mr. Trucker Fix-It tools. I didn't have, I had some tape, but another roll of tape. Some adhesive. And... I was, I was, I was thirsty. All right, so let's see if we can try to patch up this hole. We'll throw some tape on it and see if we can get away with this one. Paper mill. Let's 
see if we can uh, get away with my little repair job. Actually, I went, put the, they didn't have any, all they had was clear adhesive. So I, and I knew, because I've seen it done probably like six or seven times, that if someone's going to come and fix this trailer, this is exactly what they're going to do. But they're going to have like a thick putty. But uh, I put adhesive on the hole, put some tape on it, and that's what they would have done. And I went on the outside, put a little bit of tape over there, shut the door, no light. So, now all we do is get through the inspection, and we're good to go. So, uh, we're going to head on down. I think it was about, about 90 miles. Demopolis. Just head on down the road and uh, see what these guys are doing in Zilla. Talk to you guys a little bit. To our shipper here and the load is not ready that's interesting this place is always a drop and hook and last time I came here it was a live load this time Load's not even ready. He can't even give me a time frame. So, I don't know. Guess we'll be getting some detention pay for this. I just gotta let them know what's going on. The, the dispatch gods of the weekend. Gotta love them. Yeah. So, hopefully, we won't be spending the night at the mill. That'd be terrible. But, um, all right, we'll let you guys know. For right now, uh, it's time for lunch. <laughs> Talk to you a little bit.
the Welcome Center, Tennessee, I-65. Oh, now you're going to start. <laughs> so we got that load delivered from West Rock to Conover, North Carolina. Ended up picking up the next morning in the same town. We delivered today in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And tomorrow, we have to pick up in Jackson, Tennessee, and that's going to Jacksonville, Florida. So tomorrow begins the trip home. We won't, uh, we won't obviously make it into Jacksonville tomorrow. That would be sweet if we could. Um, we still got about another 170 miles from where we're at now to get picked up. Then... I think it was like 680 or so to Jacksonville. So, so tomorrow, if we can get past Atlanta, that'd be great. But that's tomorrow. We'll figure that out tomorrow. So tomorrow, the journey home begins. Um, tonight, we're eating some beef and broccoli. Here, I'll show you. You want to see it? Broccoli. So, in my power aid. We'll end this here. Appreciate you guys watching. We're going to eat, watch some Netflix, and go to sleep. I'm tired. I've been dealing with this rain for like three days. So, hopefully, tomorrow, no rain. We'll see what happens. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone.